welcome to class. Welcome to class. Hey, Paul. Always good to see you. Louisa! Hello! Hey, Louisa. Hi. And uh, hello, uh, Vinicio. Hello, hello. Hey, Vinicio. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. I'm Brazilian. Good, good, good. Hey, Vinicio, do you have your television on in the background? Sorry, the song is very low. Yeah, so if it's very loud, actually, it's uh, it's better that you watch from the outside, okay? All right? We'd love to have you in class, but we just don't want to have to listen to a bunch of sound. This is a regular classroom environment, okay? So maybe just yeah, watch from, yeah, just, just watch from the outside, okay? If you can't find a quiet environment, okay? Okay. Okay, thanks, Vinicio. I'll see you in class next time, okay? All right. right. Okay, thanks. See ya. Walter. Hey, Walter. What's Hi, up? Hi, teacher. Hey. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. And you? I'm doing well. I'm fine. Doing well. Good, good. I good. I think that you is the best teacher of Duolingo. <laughs> oh well, thank you so much. You know what? We're doing something called sweet talk today, and now you're sweet talking me. I don't know why you're sweet talking me. You know, but uh, but you're already sweet talking me. So thanks. Hey, uh, Vinicio. Yeah. So sweet talk, Paul. That means like when you're um, you know, when you're telling some, it's. A lot of sweet talk really happens, um, you know, when a guy's trying to pick up a girl. That's a typical scenario. But also, there's other types of sweet talk. Like my grandmother, my grandmother, she was the best at sweet talk. What she would do, she had 12 kids. And what she would do is she would tell one of the children, she'd say, Oh, you know what, David? When you take out the garbage, you make sure that it's always put in the proper place so the dogs don't get to it. Or it'd say, Oh, Marie. When you wash the dishes, they're so much cleaner than when everybody else does it. Why don't you wash the dishes for us? That's like sweet talk, okay? It's very pers Brad, you are muted. Brad. So who who muted me? Okay. I don't know I don't know if you muted me. Yeah, Vinicio, my friend. What yeah. I'm trying to no, yeah, no, Benicio. now it's okay. The sound it's okay. Okay, unmute yourself and stay unmuted, okay? Go ahead, Vinicio, just unmute yourself, okay? Okay. So no keep keep it. <laughs> okay, guys, you know the thing that's really nice is Colinga, we offer these classes for free. It's so great. We even have like two classes at a time with some hours. All that we ask out of you students is that you're respectful of the other students, that you don't come in with loud environments. But for some reason, some of you that's difficult to, uh, to hold on to, okay? But anyway, hey, Louisa, how are you? Uh, great, thanks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Hello, uh, uh, Kaiku Silva? Yes, Kike. Hey, hey! Now listen to this guy's background. This is what this is what a um, this is what a student should come to class with. Nice, easy, quiet background. Good, good, good. And where are you from, Brazil, Kike? Yeah. Yes, I'm from São Paulo, Brazil. Oh my gosh, has many third people in Brazil. Right, you are muted again. Yeah, who keeps who keeps who keeps muting me? <laughs> it's not me. Um, hey, Vinicio, I'm sorry, Vinicio. You're you're being very disrespectful to others. You honestly have a loud environment, okay? Um, you don't want to cooperate. I don't know why, okay? But uh, it's too loud for us to be able to understand you, okay? Sorry, uh, sorry, Vin Vinicio, okay? And I'm just gonna I'm just gonna block you. I don't know what else to do at this point. Okay. So, all right. So, uh, so Joe's here. Hey, John. Hey, John. So good. So things calm down back there. 
No more dog barking, anything else? <laughs> I don't think so. Okay, well good, good, good. All right. So um Oh, so Mauricio, the same the same one who's blocking other teachers. Well, I'm glad you're not doing it, uh, Mauricio. So that's good. Okay, and then Jane. Hey, Jane, how are you? Hey, teacher, how are you? I'm good happy now because the meeting. Because <laughs> you made it in the class. Okay, yeah. well, good, good, <laughs> good. In the class. <laughs> good, and, and some, somehow the guy that I cook, kicked out will probably complain that I kicked you kicked him out to get you in. But anyway, that's life. You can't make everybody happy. So okay, so um, so good. Let's talk about sweet talk. This is a conversation class. I don't want to talk during the whole. Well, I want you all to talk during the class, but you're going to have to learn about how to sweet talk people. Okay, all right. You're going to have to learn how to be persuasive. Now, there's a difference in sweet talking and manipulating people. Please, this is not a class on how to manipulate people, all right? Don't go tell your mom that your teacher is teaching you how to manipulate people, okay? All right, I don't need your mom calling me up and getting mad at me over this, okay? So, um, oh, hey, Redick is here. It's like a ghost from the past. Redick, where have you been? Yeah, Press your uh, press your red mute. We we naturally mute you when you come in. Yeah, okay, yeah. just in case um, yeah. just in case you have a dog attacking yeah. you. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. Okay. I, 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 anyway, yeah, I forget about it. Yeah, if I'm muting. Uh, yeah, I was I was living in Oslo, but uh, you know I'm still looking for the job, and uh, I take a train to Bergen, and uh, I'm in Bergen now. It's 600 kilometers to the west coast in Norway. And, okay. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, moving yep. around the world. <laughs> yeah, well, good, good, good. And you're probably freezing to death, though, right? Oh uh, no, it's no, it's it's uh, like uh, plus two degrees. You know, it's warmer than in Oslo. <laughs> and yes, <laughs> but, yeah. So, so, so that's uh, that's very, very uh, persuasive. I, I think I'm going to fly over to uh, fly over to being plus two degrees. You know, I yeah. was out walking in shorts at five in the morning. But anyway. But, yeah, uh, <laughs> now, you know, now in Oslo it's like uh, min mi minus five, and in Bergen, in the West Coast, it's plus two. Anyway, you know the the, the people are walking sometimes in their uh, shirt, in in shorts. You, you can see some people in the shorts, you know. <laughs> yeah, that, that well, that's that's amazing, you know. That's amazing, and the, uh, you know they they have sometimes they have no uh, winter jackets, you know, just uh, yeah. T-shirts and <laughs> yep, yep. Well, the, those uh, Norwegians are tough people. They're the first people to uh, to jump off mountains in squirrel suits and fly down mountains. So, so the Norwegians are those are those are pretty tough people. So, um, so yeah. So I can understand how they can wear some shorts. So, but good, good, good to see you, Radic. Always good yeah, to see you. Thank you. Glad you're glad you're continuing. Hello, I thought maybe Hello, I thought maybe you didn't like me anymore. So. Oh, um, no. No, I'm no. just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, you know. So um so okay, so good. Let me back up again. And what we're going to do is we're going to talk about sweet talk. So this is just a really fun con I'm trying to make it a fun conversation class, okay? Um I don't want this to be a conversation class where we're so tuned in on, you know, here's some things to say in a business environment. Here's things to say to your mother-in-law, different things like that. This is just fun like sweet talk, like how to persuade people to do stuff, okay? You know, we'll look at different pickup lines because, pardon me, I'm not trying to make this into some um, machismo or macho type thing. But sweet talkers, you know, men try to be good sweet talkers in order to pick up women. So that's a prime example. And I've tried to look for more and more examples, but those are the best ones. Okay, so here, this is persuasion or sweet talking. All right. So, okay, Jane, since you're on the left, Jane, you know what? You always have such a nice voice. Would you mind doing me a favor? Would you mind reading? <laughs> would you mind reading this for me? Everybody loves to hear your voice. Okay, so that's yeah, that's, 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 that's I hate my voice. <laughs> no, no, Jane. Oh, no, come on, Jane. <laughs> yeah, even Radic thinks you have a beautiful voice. Okay? Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's so, so it's so guys. sweet. It's so sweet. It's a, yeah. So kind of you. It's very sweet. 
<laughs> yeah, so so if you all hear me during class with like this crazy sugar mouth, sweet talk, that, that that's what I'm doing. I'm giving you examples, okay? Okay, that's <laughs> all got it. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm reading some of this stuff in the background. <laughs> it, it's an example, <laughs> okay? Yeah, so so go ahead. No, I was just reading some of this stuff in the chat. These guys are funny. So um, <laughs> so go ahead, Jane. Can you just read this for me, please? Okay, because starting here. Some... Okay, sweet talk. What is sweet? Oh, oops. Candy, sugar, nice girl, nice th things, nice moments. What is sweet talk? Talking nicely to, using flattery on, someone to persuade them to do something for you. What's the goal for sweet talk? Seduction, compliance, getting people to do things they normally wouldn't do. What? Okay, things? so good. Okay. <laughs> good. Yep. No, 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 so good. So, um, excuse me one second. Sorry, I had to clear my throat. Um, so, uh, so okay, so in here, and I'm sorry, guys, I was a little distracted by Mauricio, what he had to say, because a possessed guy speaks in tongues, correct, Mauricio? So, um, so what do sweet talkers say? Does anybody know? Can anybody give me an example of what a sweet talker would say? You know, maybe a translation from your, uh, from your language. Anybody? Paul, are you a sweet talker? Can you think of any sweet talking uh, expressions? Me? No, I'm not a sweet talker. Not at all. <laughs> I'm very good guy. <laughs> hey, uh, oh, come on. Now, being a sweet talker doesn't mean you're a bad guy. So, uh, oh, so Paul sounds, Paul sounds as Fox News presenter. <laughs> he looks, it sounds like a, well, can you say like a CNN pr presenter or something? Maybe not Fox, yeah. uh, Fox News. Okay. Fox News, yeah. <laughs> hey, don't mention Fox News when you're around me, please. Thanks. Oh, okay. But, uh, <laughs> nothing that bad. Walter. Hello, Walter. Okay, all right. Radic, can you think of any sweet talking lines that people would say? <laughs> well, uh, I don't know what to say right now, you know? Okay, well, let's, uh, you know what, let's actually, yeah. let's look at some, and again, folks, uh, so, uh, so, so, folks, Again, some of the most sweet talkers, you know, are usually men that are trying to uh, t to pick up women. So let's let's look at some of these near. So Radic, can you read? Uh, can you read this? Yeah. This first one here. Go ahead. Let's browse and go. Click on. <laughs> no, let's let's not uh, <laughs> let's not do that. So so go ahead, Radic. Can you read this uh, this first one here? Just this yeah. first segment. Yeah. Hey, bet you. Hey, bet you. Have a beautiful smile. Smile. See, I was right. Okay, so that's a that's an example of sweet talk. Okay, all right. Paul, can you uh, can you read the next one here? Yeah. Hey, do you believe in love at first sight? No, maybe. Whatever. Want me to talk? Oh, want me to walk? Um, want me to walk Bye. by a second time? Okay. So, does everybody understand that? Uh, could it go a little, uh, go up uh, for? Uh, yeah. So what it what it is is, the guy first sees her. She first sees him. Do you believe in love at the first sight? She says no. Maybe whatever. You know, whatever, whatever, whatever it's going to be. She might say no. She might be saying maybe or whatever. Then he asks, Do you want me to walk by a second time? Right? Because love at first sight. So. Oh, this is falling on deaf ears. Okay, let's just continue. Let's just continue on here. Okay. Um, oy, oy, oy. Yeah. So let's uh, let's let's go back to here. Okay. So let's continue on here. So John, hello, John. Yeah. Can you continue reading here? Okay. Oh well. Uh, is there a secret to sweet tongue? What techniques? It's important. Uh, what techniques? Yeah, and that should be. Uh, yeah, what technique is important? Okay. Yeah. So, 
Yep. So does anybody in their own language ever sweet talk? Is that is anybody and John yeah. John make sure make sure you mute yourself a little bit, okay? Or not Always a little bit a lot. When I take an exam. It's very what? very useful technique. You sweet okay. talks the teacher. So so what do you do then, Paul? What's your technique when you sweet talk? Oh, I try to say that her appearance is just beautiful, her new hairstyle, wonderful, and she's the best woman <laughs> I ever I ever met. <laughs> And so on, <laughs> just to uh, to help me to improve my mark or whatever kind of <laughs> influence to her. <laughs> so good, so good. So we have an example of sweet talk. Thank you. I'm glad somebody sweet talks. Okay, Mauricio. Hello, Mauricio. Hey, hello, Brad. Good evening, my brother with uh, from another mother and another father. Am I right? <laughs> Yes, yes. <laughs> well, people always said, you know, brother from another mother, and I thought, well, geez, we have different fathers, too, so. <laughs> <laughs> it's necessary so to specify. <laughs> yeah, yep. So, Mauricio. Yes, sir. Sweet talking. Do you ever sweet talk anybody? Uh, 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 yes, sir. Yes, of course. Okay. So, so, talk, so yes. Yes, uh, yeah, yes. Give an example of it, please. Ah uh, well, uh, when uh, when you are when when you are meet meeting someone, some somebody, you are mm -hmm. meeting somebody, uh, especially well in my case a girl, uh, a woman, you is is ne is necessary to 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 say beautiful things, and as a friend of mine said, uh, ladies. I I don't I I can I can say that in Spanish sorry but the the how can I say yes in in conclusion yes yes sir with a, with a la with uh, two ladies and two girls okay yes. all right all right uh, hello Cecilia hello Brad hey did you come here so I could sweet talk you a little bit no Brad by no means. <laughs> Okay, all right. And again, this is not manipulation. This is just sweet talking. Okay, all right. If you if you folks use it for manipulation, it's your own. Uh, it's your own device. Okay. It's just like nuclear weapons. Nuclear weapons are a good thing. It's just when you okay. use them improperly. So um. So Anne. Hello, okay. Anne. Welcome. And Anne, yeah. There's a red microphone up on the top right. Oh, you sorry, I'm finding. Oh no, it's okay. It's no problem. Hey, Ann, I think this is your first time you've been in one of my classes, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Okay. Well, good. Well, you uh, you came into uh, probably one of the worst ones yet. So anyway, so um, so sweet talking. So we're gonna walk talk about sweet talking. Ann, has anybody ever tried to sweet talk you before? I would say yes, mm -hmm. especially men. <laughs> Especially men. So, so how would they sweet talk you? What are some of the things that they would say to you? Well, and nothing, nothing bad, right? But <laughs> yes, <laughs> nothing bad. Uh, sometimes they say, "Oh, your hair is beautiful." Mm-hmm. Even yep. if it's not. <laughs> even even if it's not, so you know that you know that it's not true, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. Good. Good. And also, too, so so those of you that just joined, there's other ways to sweet talk people, okay? I was giving an example of my grandmother, okay? This wonderful lady, she had 12 kids. And what she used to do to get the kids to do things is she would say things to them like, you know, oh, you know what, Jim? Can you take the dog out for a walk? He seems to really like when you walk him. It's really amazing, you know. It's like uh, he's he's just not as happy when somebody else walks him. Let's see what's another uncle. Oh, hey John, can you do me a favor? Can you read to Catherine tonight? I'm a little tired and actually Catherine enjoys it more when you read to her. Okay? So different ways like that. So that's sweet talking, okay? And I know Cecilia's thinking, "Wow, that's manipulation," okay? But it's also, you know, as long as there's no harm involved, you know, it, it yep, it's just thinking. Mauricio Yes, sir. So I, I think that I, I misunderstood the concept the uh, concept of of sweet talk. Uh, sweet talk um, has to do with with uh, lying and something like that. 
No, not so much lying, you know. Or, so or I mean it. Well, it's 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 a gray area. Have you ever heard the term a gray area? You know, where it's not it's not black and white. You don't know if it's a lie. You don't know if it's the truth. It's kind of like right in the middle. All right. So if you sweet talk and you're completely lying to somebody and you're just really manipulating them, then that's not right. But if you're mm -hmm. just sweet talking, just to kind of persuade people, and also too, you know, it's good to compliment people as long as it's a genuine compliment. You don't want to, like, uh, like Ann says, you don't want somebody coming to you when you have bedhead and saying, "Wow, your hair looks great today." You know, mm -hmm. you don't, you don't want somebody, you know, if you're, uh, if you're wearing, um, you know, dirty old tennis shoes, and a guy comes up, "Hey, nice shoes," you know, thinking that's a good line. So there's a little bit of a difference. So sweet talk is not as bad as what people, some people think, right? Okay. For example, you are a, a, a really great teacher. That says uh, sweet talk. Yeah, exactly. So, so, um, so I forgot. Oh, um, anyway, somebody was sweet talking me. Exactly, Mauricio. That's uh, that's sweet talking there. So. Okay, understand. Thank you very much. Can we You're say welcome. that the sweet talking is like a little bit be lying? No, exactly true. Well, it depends. Okay, so like in the instance of my uncle John. If he really, if my uh, Aunt Kathy, you know, if she really enjoys listening to my Uncle John talk, you know, and read to her, then it's not lying, okay? And it might be a little bit of exaggerating, okay? So do you know the difference between an exaggeration and a lie? Yes. Yep, there's not really much. But uh, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, when it's kind of you're, you're just stretching the truth again, folks. I'm not teaching you manipulate. And again, I just I just wanted to have a fun conversation class. I'm gonna get you all to uh, to start um, sweet talking to each other, right? Another thing, can sweet talkers sound poetic? What do you folks think? Do they sound poetic? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Like it almost rhymes. The way that they change their voice. The way that they talk to you, the way it's just such a nice soft tone, right? Okay, so um, all right, and let me ask you all: Do you like sweet talk, or do you like to talk sweet to people? Does anybody does anybody uh, sweet talk, Mauricio? You, you sound like you must be a sweet talker. Yes, is I think is is necessary is necessary to to have good relations with other people, but not mm -hmm. not not by manipulating, but to to, for example, when you are when you are t when you are working uh, in a team or in a group, you you need to be to be polite and 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 talk sweetly. Is it right to say that sweetly? Um, uh, let's see, sweetly. Yeah, I mean it's actually correct because you're just describing how you talk. So, yep. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I never th I never thought of that. Um, no, I, I would just say uh, to talk in a sweet manner. That's that's proper. Yeah, I don't think sweetly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Talk in a sweet manner. In a okay. sweet manner. Yes, yeah, sir. Yep. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, let's see. Okay. So let me ask you something. Can you be sweet talked? What about you, uh, Louisa? Can you be sweet talked? No, absolutely not. <laughs> No, absolutely. You don't stand for that at all. Okay. All right. All right. How about you, uh, Kai Q? Sorry. Is anybody? Is anybody? Yeah. Has anybody ever sweet talked you? A boss can sweet talk you, like uh, you know, a fellow um, you know, student, right? If you're in school, like Mauricio was saying, people in teams, people in groups, you know, with different compliments, they sweet talk each other. It always, doesn't always have to be a a um, opposite sex type thing. Does anybody ever sweet talk you? Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, can you be sweet talked when somebody says something nice to you? Do you uh, do you follow what they say? Like yeah, Mauricio okay. says, does it motivate you? Yes. Yep. Okay. Good. 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 How about you, Radic? Uh, you can see my picture all right now. <laughs> it's not a sweet talk, right? <laughs> yeah, let's see. Uh, 
Ah, yeah. uh, it's not coming up for some reason. It's coming up with your old one. What is it like? A few uh, birds or something together? Yeah, yeah. It's not a tweak talk. No. And um, yeah, we're supposed to, you know, talk to to the people. Like, you know, it's not it's not always supposed to be a sweet, but you know, be nice and be uh, just a little sweet. <laughs> yep. Yep. Okay. And does anybody know who the most famous sweet talker of all time is? William Shakespeare? William Shakespeare. Shakespeare could be one. What was that, Jane? Obama. <laughs> Obama? Yeah. Ob Obama. Obama's, Obama's a sweet talker. He's almost as good as George Bush, right? No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. George Bush was horrible. Uh, Anne, what about oh, you? What was your answer? Who's a, who's a great sweet talker? Uh, sometimes my son, when he wants something... <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, very, very good, very good. And I see Mo, Mo's typing in here. I was wondering why it's so bright today. You are here, okay? Yeah, like Paul says, Darth Vader. That's probably one of the best sweet talkers, okay? Um, so actually, too, uh, here, let me get to this here. Dale Carnegie. And by the way, um, let me see if I can pull up the right one. So Dale Carnegie, okay, he could probably be considered one of the best sweet talkers. This book sounds so manipulative, but it's really not. I mean, you read you read the title, How to Win Friends and Influence People. It just sounds like, wow, what a dirt bag, okay? But if you read the book, it actually is not that way because you have to make sure that you know how to properly speak to people, okay? And here... Um. Yep. Here, uh, Brent. Yeah. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. I I think that I have a I still have a confusion. I think that that word, according to the definition in Spanish, uh, mm -hmm. is a, a little uh, it's a perception, but exaggerate exaggerating things. Mm -hmm. uh, no, no. In that case, I'm not. I don't. I am not a sweet talker. Oh, you're not case, a sweet talker. No, okay, no, no, got it. no, no, yes, no, got absolutely. It. Okay, well, I thought you'd be a sweet talker, but um, but here, so, so this has to do with persuasion and things like that. You all can take a look at this. I gave you the link. But you can say <laughs> things, see, see things here. Okay, this is how to deal with people. You know, begin with praise and honest appreciation, right? Okay, um, praise every improvement. Just different things like this. Use encouragement, all right? Okay? And make the other person happy about doing what you suggest. Also, too, so that's in the book. One thing that was left out in his book, for those of you that, um, that are married, here's some seven rules for making your home life happier. And again, you know, give honest appreciation. Pay little attentions, right? Be courteous, okay? And I, I like this last one here, so smart guy but anyway he um, you know he knew what he was talking about but anyway let's let's get back to this so and we're gonna sweet talk pretty soon okay so here also these are the main things as far as when you're trying to be persuasive here's the main words that you want to use when you're trying to persuade people or sweet talk them okay oh and in here, here comes Patricia when it comes to sweet talking okay but money safety Love, you know, save is a word, new comes up, guarantee, discovery, things like that, okay? All right, and let me get back on here. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to talk, we're going to practice our sweet talk, okay? And don't worry if you're not really good at it, but you get the ideas of what you want to do to sweet talk somebody compliment them, say something nice to them, just talk to them in a good manner, kind of change your voice, okay? So let's, um, yeah, let's, me gusta. <laughs> so, hey, uh, Anne, is somebody sweet talking you in Spanish? Yes, my son. <laughs> just continues nonstop, huh? So okay, so let's do let's do some conversations here. So Anne, Paul is a policeman, okay? 
He just pulled you over. You were driving. And hello, Patricia. Hi. So Paul just pulled you over. He's a policeman, okay? And he's a very, very tough policeman. And he's going to give you a ticket. Oh, you have to, yeah, you have to talk your way out of it. You have to sweet talk him, okay? So, uh, so Paul, go ahead and uh, go ahead and start with Anne. Start talking to her. You're going to give her a ticket. Ticket. Yeah, like oh. a you know a ticket for speeding. She's driving her motorcycle too fast. Oh. Okay, Miss. I think you broke the speed limit. I want to give you a ticket. I'm sorry, police, but I was so tired and I had my son sick, sick and I was worried. I'm sorry, I just didn't know what I was going to do it. Oh, it's okay, but you have to take it and pay the fee. I'm sorry, pay the... Oh, I forget the word, sorry, I'm bad policeman. Uh, yeah, yeah, so you're just going to pay the ticket, you're going to pay fine. the fine, fine. Oh, penalty. Yep. Yep. I, guess yep. I, have, I guess I have to take another class. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, Anne, so, Anne, it's okay. So, so you're persuading, right? And you want people to be empathetic. You want people to feel what you're feeling. So when you talked about that, you should have said to Paul, and just try this, say, say, yeah, Paul, you know, my, my son, he's homesick. I was just rushing to get him some medicine. And it has to be the truth, right? Uh, do you have a son, Paul? Has your son ever been sick? Do you know how hard it is when you have a sick son? Okay, say something like that to him. Make him feel your situation. Make him understand what's going on. Cecilia, are you, Cecilia, are you bad at me? I'm not, selling, I'm not selling a tank this time, okay? So, you know, so this is a little bit more peaceful, okay? But now we're not selling weapons of mass destruction. So uh, Cecilia thinks I'm a bad person now. So Anne. Just just talk to him. Have him have him understand what you're going through, okay? Just okay. try it again, okay? Okay. Did you freeze on me, Ann? No. So go ahead, Ann. Just talk to him again. Say, Paul, you know, my son's sick. Here's what I'm going through. Have you ever been in that situation? Do you understand what it's like? Go ahead, go ahead, Ann. Okay. Paul, my son is sweet is sick and do you have a son? Had you ever had your son sick? I'm sorry uh, miss I don't think you should call me Paul. I'm officer and besides my name is Roberto. I'm so sorry police officer but I just cannot think in clear right now because I am in a hurry for get medicine for my son. Did you have a son? Yeah my that? son is in Afghanistan. He's in Navi. Okay. Have you ever had him sick? I don't know. He's in the army since he uh, eighteen. Oh, do you remember when he was a little child? No, mm. I was in Vietnam. Oh. <laughs> Paul, come on. Paul, give, her, give her a little bit of a break, Paul. Jeez, Paul. <laughs> well, yeah, there's there's like no room for this guy. He has no heart. Paul, give her a little bit of room. Of course you were around when he was sick. Come on. Okay. And by, and oh, by the way, yeah. I'm not... Of course, I understand. That's, that's, you know, that's that's bad. But anyway, you have to get this ticket and pay the penalty. Okay, I guess I cannot convince the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But good, but good though, you're, you're, you're learning. <laughs> and by the way, folks, I, I'm not going to interrupt you to correct grammar mistakes today and things like that. I'm just trying to get to make sure that you have the proper context, okay? So if you're wondering why I'm not stopping correcting tenses, because I just want you to get the flow and the understanding of this, okay? All right, so let's see. So, Louisa. Okay, Louisa. So Cecilia, she owns a flower shop, okay? And what's happening is your sister's getting married, and she wants all these flowers, and it's going to be so expensive, so, so, so expensive. So what you want to do is you want to deal with this nice 
owner of this flower shop and you need to talk to her to get the price lower okay so you need to sweet talk her in order to get a lower price okay Louisa okay okay uh, go ahead Cecilia give her the final price okay so you are taking tulips and you're taking daisies and you're taking roses so that makes a uh, hundred and fifty dollars can, can you can you make it can you make it something more expensive than that? I mean, it's like it's it's kind of hard to lower the price. Make make it you know it's it's a wedding. It's probably gonna be about twelve thousand dollars for all these flowers. Oh well, I thought that that was yeah. Good. No no no. It's, Sorry, it's, it's I have okay. no idea. All right. Well, I mean, it, so, it's expensive uh, on a, a teacher's salary, but but yeah. So <laughs> I'd be begging for a lower price too. But yeah, let's let's make it something high so she can really talk you down. Okay. Okay, so you are taking three kinds of uh, uh, flowers. That's going to be twenty-five thousand dollars. Oh, Cecilia, you know how I proud that you are giving us these all flowers. And my sister was crying that you know that the flowers will be from your magazine. Yes, I know, because she told me she wanted ours, as we are one of the best uh, flower shops in, in town. But, uh, um, Luisa, uh, I have already given you a good offer. Uh, the, um, the two leaves are not from, from town. They are coming straight from Holland. Imagine I am making more than a special offer. Oh, Holland is not uh, so pop Holland is not so popular. By the way, I like sh your shoes so much. You know? Oh yes, they are trendy, aren't they? But this have nothing to do with the tulips here. But you know that. You know our family so long time. That's my sister. You like her. She likes you. Maybe uh, 20 presents, uh, Sel? Well, let's see. If, we, if I make a great effort, I can lower it to 24 uh, uh, and 500. Do you know that is that, is that better? <laughs> Sorry? Do you know that the wedding will be in Las Vegas and maybe you can come with us? But, <laughs> but, but if I go, I'm going to spend more than $500, uh, Luisa. <laughs> oh, we will give you $1,000 and for not, by that money, you can come. Luisa, you are tempting me. You know how much I love the whole family. <sighs> okay, Luisa, let's make it 20,000. Is that good to you? Um, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> All right. I'm done. All right. Good. You, you know what? When you started out that dialogue at first, Louisa, I, I, I kid you not, I thought, who is that? I thought, who, <laughs> because the way you, and not, not that you have a very nice voice, you, you definitely do, but just the way you lowered your voice and just the tone and everything, I seriously, I thought, who, who is that? You know, I had to look to make sure that another student didn't actually jump in. So, no, good. Very good, very good, and appealing to people's, um, you know, their heart and things like that. So good, good, good. And again, this isn't manipulation. This is just some persuasion. Okay, all right. So good, very, very good, fantastic dialogue, both of you. Okay, Patricia. Hey, Patricia. It seems like everybody's sweet talking you already. <laughs> so, uh, Patricia, you might be muted. Can you hear me now? Hello? No? Yes. Yeah, I yeah, can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> we can hear you. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> so yeah, you're welcome. Everybody, uh, everybody seems to be sweet talking you with your uh, your Google Effects hair. So that's good. It's good. It's nice. So anyway, wel welcome to class. This is on persuasion, okay, and sweet talking. All right. So you'll you'll hear a few more examples, and then you're going to get involved with this uh, with this sweet talking, okay? All right. So good. So let's see who's next here. So uh, so Jane. Okay. Hello, Jane. What? <laughs> what? That's not sweet talking, Jane. <laughs> yeah, that's it. yeah, Jane. What, what what do you want? You know. I, I know exactly pardon, what you want. Pardon, pardon. Sorry, pardon. I beg your pardon, but not what. What? <laughs> you know what? You know what I? No, that's okay. You know, I picked Don't up this bad your habit. Class a little bit. No, 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 no. It's good. It's good. I like that though. <laughs> I deserve to uh, to get uh, to get things like that. So, uh, so good. So this time, so so Jane and Mauricio. Okay. Yep, but no. Wait here. There, there's a change here. Okay? Who am I, teacher? So, I don't know. You're Jane. Who am I? You're Jane. You don't know who you are. So, <laughs> so this one, this one, we're gonna we're gonna have three people. I've been trying to get conversations. I know a lot of conversations we pair people up, but I've been trying to get it to where we have scenarios where it's two on one, two on two, and different things like this. So, uh, so Radic, hello, Radic. Yes. Okay. I'm back. So what you? You're back. Good, good. So, Radic, you're you're a teacher, okay? And what's mm -hmm. happening is we have Mauricio and we have Jane. All right. So they're a couple. They're coming in to talk to you about their son. Their son, <clears throat> excuse me. Their son has good grades in every other class except for yours. Okay. And they don't know why. And they're going to try to persuade you a little bit into giving him a better grade and also showing him more attention as well. well. I shouldn't say give him a better grade, into showing him more attention in class. Okay? So paying more attention to him, helping him out, because they feel that you're not helping him enough as a teacher, that you're not being a good teacher. But they don't want to say that, but they want to persuade you into making sure that you take care of their son a little bit more. So, Mauricio, Jane. Yes, you there? Teacher, okay. Mauricio so, is the father. He's the father. He's the father of your child. You just found am, out. Am I the mother? <laughs> yes. Oh my <laughs> God! <Okay>. Don't, <laughs> please don't don't kill me. <laughs> so yeah, you just found out oh, after wow. all these years that Mauricio is the father. No, no, you, you've known this for many years. Okay, you've been raising raising the son since he's a child. So and, and Radic is the teacher. So uh, so Radic, you start out the conversation by welcoming welcoming them that uh, welcoming them in to the class where you two are going to sit down or you three are going to sit down and talk. Your your son's outside. You don't want to bring your son oh, okay. in oh, during a okay, conversation exactly. like this. You know. <laughs> You want to uh, to leave him out, okay, Radic? Welcome, them, welcome them in. <laughs> He's too little; he won't understand. Um, <laughs> but again, what you want to focus on is you want the teacher to spend more time with your child so that uh, his grades will improve. Okay, all right. I kind of started out a little bit wrong as far as trying to get him to give your son a better grade. That's manipulative. Okay, okay. Go ahead, Radic. Welcome them into your class. Yeah, I, I I don't know if I'm gonna handle that, you know. Uh, okay. Hi, hello. How you doing? Uh, just uh, thanks if you come into to the class and uh, talk to me because uh, you know uh, sometimes I have a, some little problems with, with your son, and uh, I just want to talk to you. So what's the problem with my son? Because he's very smart. He's he's so cute and he's so clever. I don't understand. Uh, you know, uh, yesterday, uh, uh, I was you know, uh, I I told him you know to to be a quiet because um, he talking a lot you know with his friends and uh, uh, I. Uh, I uh, talked to him. Uh, I told him a couple times to to be a quiet, you know, to be nice to everybody in the class. But he didn't listen to me, you know. He just he just talk, talk, and talk to the to the other friend, you know. And uh, do do you mean that he doesn't behave very well in that? 
He doesn't be what? Behave. Be oh, that I don't understand. Behave. <laughs> no, be yeah, behave and, and make sure what you want to focus on here is you want to you want to focus on you know getting the teacher to show your son more attention. So maybe ask him if oh, he has he children. You know, yeah. Do you have any Mommy, children? Or... Help me, please. <laughs> yeah, no, where's where's the father? No, I, I, was, <laughs> I was I was I was listening because I am a little astonished or surprised because uh, our children always. Bring, uh, bring, brings to to how to home, uh, good grades. He's a very student, and all the time he's talking about you, the, Mr. Radek. He 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 all the time says that you that you are a good teacher, that you explains that you explain uh, very well the uh, the topics. Maybe I think that maybe he he was uh, uh, talking about. Uh, uh, talking about your class with with the other children, uh, as I said, I'm I'm a little surprised. What do you think, uh, Mr. Radic, Professor Radic? Uh, pro <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, pr probably you know uh, your your son. Uh, he talking uh, with the friends about me, but uh, I'm not sure about that. But. I just, you know, told him, like I said before, you know, just be a little quiet, you know, because uh, I want to talk to the class, you know, and he he doesn't listen to me, and uh, he just, you know, he, he talked to the, to his friends, and uh, that was that was confuse everybody, you know, that was confusing in the in the in the classroom. Yes, but it's not all the time, right? Uh, it's it, yeah, it's not all the time, you know. I used yeah. That just but, sometimes happen, you know. Sometimes happen. But I, th I think if you give him more att attention, you would be good to to our child because he just need that. You are you are a great professor. You are a great teacher. You are amazing, the best teacher of th this school because of you. You you choose that school for. Our son. Yes, so and if I, you give, if you give him more more attention, he'll be better. <laughs> yes, and and I and you know what, Doctor uh, Professor Radek, I think he he tried to to attract your to attract your attract to attention, uh, talking to other yeah, people. Ca catch his yes, because yeah. be, because he wants to, uh, as I said, as I said, uh, he, he admires you, right? He admires the, the he admires the way you you lead the class, the way you teach, and maybe because there are many other students, uh, they want they they would like to ask more time to you, and maybe and I think that that's that's the the that's the reason. So I we are begging you that please um, pay a little more attention to to our our chil child. He's a good guy. He's a good boy. Uh, he's a very student. Uh, uh, please. You know, yeah. It, it, next weekend, uh, we go into the uh, to, to the uh, forests, mount, mountains, forests, and uh, uh, we, we're gonna uh, sleep in the tents. Uh, we're gonna play all the class. You know, the, uh, it's coming to this trip, and uh, you know. I'm gonna talk with him, I'm, uh, with your son, and with all the class. You know that that's gonna be a three uh, teachers, and we're gonna play with them, uh, with, with your with your child, with your son, and uh, I'm gonna talk to him. You know because yeah, I know he he's a nice guy, he's a nice son, but you know that sometimes happens. That's why you know I call you and uh, I just uh, wanna talk to you for for a little while. But he's I know he's nice, he's nice. Yeah. A little a little a little question before. After going, uh, after leaving, uh, uh, that we won't affect uh, his grades, right? Yeah, I, I, yeah, yeah, of course, he's great. But you know, that sometimes, like I said before, you know, sometimes that happens, you know. But yes, he's okay. nice. He's nice guy. He's nice yeah. guy. Yeah. He's a very nice, uh, very good, very good student. Well, Doctor uh, Professor Radic, thank you very much. Thank you very much thank for your you attention. Thank you very much, teacher. Yes. Uh, so. Excellent.
Excellent, yes. excellent. So Jane, you really Thank came you on strong, you. Jane. I was so surprised, you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so good, good Thank job, Rosie. Yeah, Thank and you. Uh, Thank you too, Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, good job, everybody. Good. So everybody's learning uh, the power of persuasion. So Patricia, hello, Patricia. Sorry, Brad. No, no, it's I okay, Patricia. My, my car was... No yes. problem, okay? No problem. So, uh, so Patricia, I had you sell tanks before. Now, now you have to be persuasive. Uh, choose another student to have a conversation with. It's okay, so, Patricia. Uh, um, what persuasion for? for it's, uh, it's sweet, sweet talk. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, let me let me have somebody sweet talk you. Okay. All right. So um. Yeah, Cecilia, you haven't done any sweet talking yet. Okay. So Patricia. Yeah. Okay. So um. I don't. Hmm. Not a policeman. Uh. Not a subordinate. So Patricia. Um. <laughs> you're 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 a boss. Okay. You're. No, it's okay. It's okay. okay. You're a boss, okay? And Cecilia, she's yeah. your she's your worker. She's underneath you. You manage her, okay? So Cecilia needs to have a couple of weeks vacation. So what she's mm -hmm. going to do is she's going to talk to you. She's going to try to get two weeks of vacation, even though the company policy is only one week in a row, okay? Cecilia worked for right. me in 19, she, 19 she, she vacation. Works, she needs two weeks of vacation. Your company only allows for one week. So she's going to try to talk you into getting two weeks of vacation off, okay? She's going to she's gonna sweet talk you, okay? Go, go ahead, Cecilia. Go into her office and get those two <clears throat> weeks off, okay? Knock, knock. Knock, knock. Hmm. Miss Mufasa. Hi, Cecilia. How are you? Good evening, Miss Mufasa. Uh, may I come in? Good evening, no. <laughs> you, you can be saying good morning for this. Topic. Bueno, good morning, Miss Mufasa. May I come in? Um, yes. Yes, okay. Sorry to disturb, Mrs. Uh, Miss Mufasa. Uh, you know, uh, I have been given already my holidays. And of course, I was given just one week what I deserve, but uh, I uh, was wondering if you could make an exception, and because you are so nice, that uh, I wonder if you could give me a fortnight, two weeks, only as an exception. I know it's ex something extraordinary that I am asking you, but you know, uh, I uh, I apply for a scholarship in uh, Machu Picchu to study the uh, ancient stones, and I this is an opportunity that uh, I found, and if you give me this opportunity, I will come back and work extra for the rest of the year. So, um, Cecilia, I understand, but um, I don't remember uh, what what you what do you have the vacation for calendar because I I I can be the agenda for for review the topics and you know other people in a team uh, maybe I wonder what uh, what the exception. Uh, for you, I don't. I I um I no problem, but I'm only um you uh, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Yes, never mind. Uh, what the, never mind. I, I I bring it to you in a rush. I'm coming back and I I bring it to you in a rush. Here it is. Here you are. Here you are. Here's your agenda. Have a look. Have a look. How um, how about your your work? 
who who replies when you ah, uh, yes. not working. Susanita will take over my job. Don't worry, everything is been arranged. She will work from even on Saturday afternoons. She will stay on to carry on and do my my job. So everything has been talked over with her. Never mind, everything is going to be done properly. I know, I know you are so kind and so uh, comprehensive that you are going to understand this opportunity that is the only opportunity I have because now that my son is old enough that he can uh, stay alone, you see? Yes, I understand. So, how many days we are talking about? Instead of just one week, it's going to be for a fortnight, two weeks. Two weeks. Okay, Cecilia, um, I want to think and co organize uh, the team, um, and tomorrow I send a mail for you. Okay. okay. Okay, thank you very much, Ms. Mufasa. Mm -hmm. Bye. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, so good. There's there's still sweet talk going on uh, in the chat room or in the chat as well. So good, good. So um, so you know, guys, I I just want to make sure that we bring things back together at the end of class. So please, you know, understand I'm not teaching you to manipulate. Okay, but there are times where you have to involve some sweet talking. Is there a gray, you know the gray area again? Is it kind of manipulation in some ways? Mm, that that's up to your call. Okay, you know I, I have this I have this thing in my mind. Okay, where uh, it might sound kind of crazy, but uh, I developed it I think five six years ago when I when I stopped a hardcore sales and I thought you know what I'm gonna try to think of when every situation of when I'm on my deathbed, you know, like 80 years old. Well, I look back at this situation and think, wow, I regret that. So I have less to think about. So when it comes to time to sweet talk, when it comes time to persuade people, just make sure when you're doing it that it's not something you're going to regret later. Okay? All right? So don't think that this is something where I'm teaching you, hey, this is the way to manipulate everybody. But there's times where, you know, it's just necessary. It's just part of life. Okay? I mean, the reality is uh, being a good talker, being able to communicate properly and being able to get people to you know understand your point of view, appreciate that, and to help you with things, then that's uh, that's an important skill in life. All right, very important. Okay, all right. So good, good. I'm glad you understand that, Mauricio. Yeah, I just uh, you know, sweet talking and manipulation they they're they're so close together. So anyway, well, good, well, good. Well, hey, Radic. Yep. It, it was. It was so great to see you again, Radic. Oh, You're probably you. one of the best students I've ever had. Oh, oh, come really on. Really <laughs> enjoy when you come to. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. I had some crazy sweet talk, okay? Uh, yeah, um, it's too sweet. Too yeah. sweet. <laughs> yeah. So, Cecilia, I'll stay after class for you, okay? I see your hand up, okay? Um, no problem. Mauricio, take care. Louisa, thank you for staying up. And you really, the change in your voice, it really surprised me. I thought that, I thought that was great. Jane, always a pleasure. Anne, Thank very you. nice to meet you. You know, el gusto es mío, right?